Yeah, welcome back to Belize Hitmaker's YouTube page. Today we have a real short video showing how to set up the recording session. You know, if you're an artist at home right now in the quarantine, you know, and you have to start recording your own music, you know, this is how you do it if you have Logic Pro. So when you open Logic Pro, the first dialog box that shows up is asking if you want to add a track, software instrument, whatever. But for this video, we're doing audio input is mostly gonna be on one and the output now we have to make sure we switch the output to a stereo file uh, output one and two all right so now we have to uh, make sure we get the project locked to the bpm so we put up the project tempo menu and we go to adapt all right find your beat you could um import it go to file import audio file or this is how i normally do it i just drag and drop all right drag a beat let logic do its thing and boom so it says the tempo is 100 bpm click show yes we could tap g on the keyboard so this blue line can go Right, so now that we have the beat load up we could go back to the project tempo menu and keep this tempo for the project All right so that, that would work good when you start doing reverb and echoes later on in the song so now you want to record some vocals add a new track same audio again but this time switch the output to a mono track output one All right, and there you go, that should be it. Now to create multiple tracks, you just use a keyboard, shortcut, command D, and duplicate a few of them. So you have a couple of tracks ready to record, you have the beat, you know, you have everything you need. So yeah, so please remember, subscribe guys, and hit a like if you find this useful. Peace.